Hello everyone, this is Secret Door Gaming. I'm playing In the Shade of Lilies. I'm not too sure what this game is about, but it's a visual novel story game. And I was mostly interested in that this game has a cat and also a young lady who loves plants. So of course I'm making it my mission to play as many or as find as many free indie games that involve kitty cats and plants. So I hope you enjoy this game. I believe that it has a little bit of psychological horror in it. So if that's something that will trigger you, please stay away. But other than that, let's get into it. I like the artwork so far. It kind of reminds me of almost those 1920 kind of cartoons with kind of a film noir look to it. Sylvia, I would, I would be, be with you. I would, I would, without. Singing to the bushes. As the quiet lilies shout. I would, I would be planted. I would, I would to grow. Or even lay to rot. And never, ever know. I would, I would be with you. I am and always will. Though sleepy day or wakeful night, here on my lily tail. Oh, that's a sweet poem. Oh, look at her. She's so adorable. And of course she's got cats on her outfit. A woman in a lovely blue dress announces as she leans down, arms outstretched. Oh, she's singing to her kitty cat. And here my baby Simba. That's so funny, my um... My brother has a cat named Simba. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's got two tails, I think. Like the other game that I played. You just want to take those little paws and just kiss them. If you're a cat person, that is. Meow. Explains Simone. She had never been fond of the nicknames, but what was worse was the inevitable. Oh, you're calling your cat Simba, except her name is Simone. That's interesting. I think. Simone, I was trying to sleep, you know. Oh, it's a talking cat. I wish my cat would talk to me. Actually, I don't think I want to know what my cat would say to me. <laughs> but you were so cute! Aw, but you were so cute! And I need you to help me find the others. Does she have more cats? Is she a crazy cat lady? Do you see anyone up there? Simone. Yes, birds. Sylvia looks for the birds mentioned by Simone. Birds? There aren't any birds. When she looks back down at her hands, she realizes that Simon, oh, now Simone has turned into Simon from Simba. <laughs> the 
this this cat has like name complex or complex syndrome or something has disappeared or maybe just the young lady's confused <gasps> meow Simone is cute Sylvia how did you get over the <gasps> there goes the plant Oh, Simone. Typical cat has to knock things over. It's like my cat. He sees a pen on my desk and he has to knock it over. Even though I say, no, don't you dare. Don't you touch that. And he looks at me and he just kind of looks at me. And then I'm looking at him and he's looking at me. And I'm like, don't you dare. And then he kind of like gives this kind of like cat grin and off the pen goes. This stupid cat. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Sylvia, hmm. You haven't been watered. Oh, you're a bad plant mommy. You don't look after your plants very well, said Sylvia with a gasp, quickly running over to get the watering can. Sylvia began singing an old gardening song with a distant, breathless voice. Oh, is that Beethoven? <laughs> I can't sing Beethoven. I'll try, but Moonlight Sonata? <laughs> There are thirsty flowers dying for love. A sprinkle of water begins to sound on the dry soil. There are thirsty flowers drowning in mud. The stream grows louder and pitters and spits. There are thirsty flowers who need a cool drink. The gurgle of water plunging into water nearly overpowers the half-hearted tune. There are thirsty flowers there is silence. Samo? Now, now Simone's turn into Samo. There were lily petals everywhere, stems, flowers. Had the garden not been behind her just a moment ago? Actually, um, you shouldn't have lilies in your garden if you have a cat. They're very toxic. You should know that, Sylvia, for cats. Sylvia Simone. Her question was asked in a vain, vain hope. I'm, I'm assuming that's supposed to be vain. Hope that some sort of explanation would materialize, yet none, I guess that's none, came for a long moment. If anybody knows cats, they never call, come when you call their name, so... <laughs> At least my cat never comes, you know? Only if I shake the bag of temptations, then he comes running. Mind you, I go running too when somebody shakes a bag of cookies. <laughs> Search for Simone. Yeah, let's go search for the cat. There's no way that cat's going to come. Sylvia begins desperately searching the garden for a clue as to where Simone might have gone. From under the flowers, a collar seems to glimmer. Her collar! Reaching out to touch it. But as her fingers touch the tag, 
The world rushed out from under her, and suddenly, everything changed. Sylvia, you're looking a little haggard. You look like you got bags under your eyes. You've been out in the sun too long. With just your cat and a bunch of flowers, you're starting to, I think, lose it. The table, the ground, everything was different for a brief moment. Back then, women used to have something the doctors would prescribe as um, hysterics. <laughs> it's true, you know, because they were so bored with their lives that, uh, that their husbands would prescribe them to go see a psychiatrist. It's actually quite sad, really. And often they would end up in insane asylums because of having hysterics or hysteria when in what it was really was just because they were so bored out of their minds. Maybe poor Sylvia's having the same kind of hysteria. Oh yeah, she sure is. Look at that background. With that, she started and released the collar, allowing it to fall back to the table and disappear in the pile of mango lilies. It almost looks like one of those ink blots. Simone, meow. The cry emerging from behind Sylvia, and as she turned, she found herself in a field of lilies. Sylvia, what is this place? Well, Lily's Lily is supposed to represent death, right? Well, I just bought myself a packet of sweet pea seeds. And they're being soaked right now for 24 hours. I'm hoping I can plant them tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll have some beautiful sweet pea fragrant sweet peas growing up my trellis. And it's going to be so nice for spring. But poor Sylvia, I think she's hanging around lilies too much. Whispered Sylvia. Meow. The quiet sound seemed to radiate from the ground all around her. Her feet began to sink into the muddy earth, almost being pulled in. Ah! Quicksand, or mud sand. Sylvia explains as she bends over to pull her feet free from the sinking mud. Maybe Sylvia's dreaming. No! To her shock, there was a glimmering from the mud. Toys, feathers, collars, so much of it. And all of it was Simone's. What? Simone doesn't have feathers. Sylvia. <gasps> Simone! I'm... Sorry. Did you kill your cat, Sylvia? Come back. Please. Oh, this is heart wrenching. Her frantic words came out in wet, tear filled sobs as she tried to push the mud away. Simone. Oh, I feel her anguish. She sank deeper, now waist deep in the mud, and surrounded by the haunted mementos and the suffocation they carried with them. Why? Why did you have to eat them? What? 
Why did you have to die? Hmm. And with those words, Sylvia burst into deep tears. Sorry, I'm, I'm about to cry, actually. <laughs> And if anyone owns a pet, oh my goodness, they're like your family. I get so emotional over my, my pets. I just feel like I would, I would just be, I would be a train wreck. I am a train wreck when one of them sadly gets too old and passes, but ugh, I can't. I'm just so emotional right now. A series of heartbreaking thoughts ran through Sylvia's mind as she sank deeper and deeper into the mud. Ugh. What was the point of it all? Simone was her partner, her support, her friend. Is Simone not really a cat? Without a real reason to go on, Nothing would be worth it. Maybe Simone was a person. Sylvia, maybe I should just give up. And go with Simone forever. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I actually have tears. Tears at the corner of my eye. I, like, oh my goodness. I get so heartbroken when any animal is hurt or something bad happens. It's like that with children too and babies. I get so, like, oh, like, so upset. I just love children and babies and animals and puppy dogs and kitties. I don't know what to do. I don't want to surrender. But should I just go down with the sinking ship? My life is over, my cat is dead. What more is there to live for? Oh, don't say that. That's so depressing. You can do this, Sylvia. You just need to take a deep breath. I even took a deep breath. <laughs> what am I doing? No! There's more to life than a cat. I can get another cat. This one I can call Simon. No, this isn't right. My god! I need to get out of this place before I sink into the mud. Sylvia digs her nails into the mud and drags herself with effort until she completely comes out of the mud. Wouldn't it be funny if her cat was just sitting there on the ledge the whole time, just watching her? Where they knocked over the, the flower pot, it was just sitting there like with a smug look on its face, just watching its owner about to throw herself to death over the cat. And the guy's just sitting there like, oh, there goes my owner. She's so dramatic. Bye-bye, owner. I'll go find another one. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. It's not really funny. But that's what cats think, you know. They're our little overlords. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, she's so heartbroken. I'm actually still crying, you know. Like, tears are coming down my face right now. Oh, get a get a grip, woman. Sylvia, Simone. I'd give anything to see you one more time. Watch as she bounds over the lilies. Maybe. Just one more time. <laughs> Sorry. Sylvia slowly closes her eyes. All of that was fake, right? 
No, Sylvia. This was not a dream. Cats are real, and they can be evil. Me talking to Simone? But they're also really cute and fluffy. And good little pets. Was everything just a dream? I hope so. For your sake and mine. I wish it weren't. Told you so. Simone, that little jerk. Suddenly she hears a sound that seems strangely familiar. <laughs> That's been there the whole time. <laughs> and the owner was about to commit, you know. <laughs> What's that word, you know, when you commit Zeus? Or like, uh, not kamikaze. I don't know. Something like that. Quickly, she opens her eyes to find out a beautiful surprise. Oh, the best thing in the world, my cat. And here I almost died for you. Sylvia, what? S -s Simone? No, you can't be here. Because you're in the mud. You're supposed to be dead in the mud. You cannot. I almost died for you. Sylvia, I'm glad you're fine. I've been here the whole time watching you in your dramatic escapades while you're swimming and sloshing around in the mud and thinking that, um, yeah, you are about to to go down into the mud. Simone, I... I felt so sad that you were about to surrender because of me. Aww. Now that's what you call true love. I had a very happy life by your side. We shared beautiful moments with each other. No matter what happens, I will always be by your side. Aw, that's touching. And the moments we live will be always there. Oh, I'm going to start crying again. Thinking about all my fur babies. So please, don't continue suffering because I'm not by your side anymore. Oh, Simone is dead, passed away. She's just like a, an angel cat or something. Would you do it for me? Aww. <laughs> oh, you start crying. This is so touching. Seriously, I'm crying. Oh my goodness. Sylvia. Oh, Simone. I guess you're right. And I promise I will go on for you. And all the kitties I get before you and after you. Is that the end? No. Nope. Sylvia tried to bring her hand closer to Simone, but as soon as her fingers brushed against its fur, she slowly disintegrated, forming a cloud of particles in the air that gradually vanished with the gust of wind. I'm blubbering like a baby here. Sylvia, I love you so much, Simone. I love you. Oh my goodness. <laughs>
What? That was just perfect. Sorry guys and everybody, girls and everyone else and all you people and out there. That was just a game that just tugged at my heartstrings. If anyone has had pets or lost a loved one, you know what I'm feeling right now. That was a beautiful game, and I am so glad to have shared that with you. And I hope you enjoyed it and uh, enjoyed my playthrough. Thanks for playing, like the game says, with Secret Door Gaming. And if you, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And have a have a happy happy day, okay? Spend it time with your your loved ones. Thank you.